The graduating class of 2011 is comprised of 478 accomplished individuals upon whom President Drew Faust has conferred an impressive array of degrees. 13 doctors of philosophy, two doctors of public health, 57 doctors of science, 242 masters of public health, 151 masters of science, and 13 masters of arts. As I look out at you all today, I am reminded of what Albert Einstein once said, and I quote, only one who devotes himself or herself to a cause with his or her whole strength and soul can be a true master. For this reason, mastery demands all of a person, end of quote. You came to Harvard School of Public Health because you wanted to devote yourself to a cause and to master some area of public health that you believe will better equip you to improve the health of people in Boston or Los Angeles, in Albania or Jordan, Nigeria or Thailand. So public health to me is about reimagining the society to one where education and opportunity are plentiful and where access to services is available to those who need it the most but can ask for it the least. Yes, in this most scientific of fields, firmly rooted in epidemiology and biostatistics, the most salient feature to me is imagination, because that is always where transformation begins. Graduates, as we prepare to leave this formidable institution, I ask you to not forget why it is that you came here in the first place. And whatever it is that public health specifically mean, means to you, remember the words of Henry David Thoreau, this world is but a canvas to our imaginations. May your imagination give you the vision to create new realities in every corner of the globe and in every frontier of public health. I held strong beliefs about human dignity and equality, about how we all need to strive for a better, healthier, and more just society. The strengths of those values and convictions were reconfirmed and settled permanently through my learning all that I experienced during that year at Harvard School of Public Health. I learned to always look for the close and the near, as well as the far away, the small as well as the large, through a holistic lens. This holistic approach is public health at its best. It is preventive medicine at its core. My credo is this, build on and strengthen the evidence, share the evidence, and act upon the evidence. Harvard School of Public Health is indeed an amazing place, filled with outstanding students, faculty, and staff doing unbelievably important work. Your drive, your enthusiasm, your curiosity cannot be duplicated anywhere else. You get on the elevator and find yourself standing next to a student who has returned from working with Senegalese scientists on malaria transmission and happens to have mastered the local language of Wolof in the process so that he can be more effective in her work. She can be more effective in her work. You walk down the hall and encounter a physician scientist from Korea who is assessing how precarious employment affects the health of his fellow countrymen. Another student describes how she's forging a relationship with the Boston Public Schools to help, help develop practical, comprehensive, and culturally sensitive health education programs on topics ranging from healthy eating to violence prevention to sexual health. Another mentions that she is in working to track the recent cholera outbreak in Haiti. The reason they call this ceremony commencement is because it signals the start of something new. You are about to head out on an exciting journey, the quest for your true calling. And so I leave you with this thought from the great Mark Twain, who once wrote, 20 years from now, 
you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Thank <laughs> you.